So obviously um, I'm a little bit late to the party, but we saw what happened last weekend. Sugar Sean or Mali managed to knock out Aljamain Sterling in the second round. Now leading up to this fight, a lot of people were saying like um, they don't think uh, Sugar Sean or Mali that he mentioned it in interviews before I think afterwards as well that he had a shoulder injury and um, he wants to stay away from wrestling as much as possible now if you look at it from the perspective of the first Petra Yan fight and don't get it twisted Aljamain Sterling I do give him a lot of credit but if you look at the first um, Petra Yan fight Aljamain Sterling was getting lit up on the feet like that's literally one of his weaknesses is his stand-up game now I'm, I'm not saying he's a complete um, amateur when it comes to stand-up but compared to his wrestling Aljamain Sterling's stand-up game is a lot more vulnerable than his wrestling so if I thought um, uh, Sugar was going to win the fight Sean O'Malley the way I thought he was going to beat him was through striking and I was absolutely right he managed to beat him through striking that's exactly what happened in the second round he l managed to land a shot and he completely turned it turned his lights out. It was very reminiscent to when um, Jose Aldo got knocked out by a prime Conor McGregor in 13 seconds. But obviously this took two rounds to do for Sean O'Malley. And obviously, inevitably, the comparisons between the two of them have come come around now because of that so yeah in my opinion it was a very good performance I mean I mean he showed his striking potential he showed how he can fight I mean he's got all the talent in the world but to be honest with you like um the, the division that he's in is full of absolute monsters like Marab and several other good fighters obviously he said he wants to rematch Chito Vera so um he does have loads of good fights on his um horizon but let's not get any take any credit away he gave an incredible performance um, me personally, I don't really like Sugar Sean O'Malley because I don't like what he represents with his pink hair and his colourful costumes. I just think he looks like a clown. Um, but I can't take away credit from him. Like he he looked incredible in there. But I do think that the rest of the division, um, I don't I don't think he's going to run through the division. I just think he's way too competitive for that. And I'm going to make a separate video talking about that. But yeah, um, it was a great performance. He managed to knock out the champion. He was a long reigning champion. Um, obviously, um, uh, Aljamain Sterling was one win away from having the most wins at bantamweight as a champion. So from that perspective, um, you can't take any credit away from Sean O'Malley. I mean, he did what he had to do and he managed to knock the guy out. And you could just see how happy Dana White was when he was putting the title around him. I mean, as soon as um, literally this 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 fight this KO happened they were literally pushing it on their on their um social media as soon as possible and they they pushed it onto their YouTube channel as soon as possible so it's obvious that the UFC machine is right behind Sugar Sean O'Malley because of the hype and the following he's already got and let's be real the Petra Yan fight um I personally don't think it was a robbery because it was a close fight but you can see how the scorecards and such could be seen as favoring and Sean O'Malley he's obviously getting the Dana White preferential treatment um he is he has got Dana White privilege in my opinion now don't get it twisted to get Dana White privilege it doesn't just mean that you get fights without having to struggle for it sometimes it does mean that I mean look at look at um Colby Covington he's getting a second title shot third title shot even though he's not earned it but a lot of times you do still have to earn that privilege. And I think Sugar Sean O'Malley has earned it to some extent when he beat Petra Yan. So from that perspective, um, before that fight, everyone was saying Petra Yan was going to completely dog walk him. But he gave a very competitive, valiant effort. And now he's managed to knock out the champion and become champ. And let's be real, Sugar Sean O'Malley has managed to do something that several fighters have not managed to do. Dan, Ho not Dan Hooker. I um, can't remember who the guy he fought. The guy he managed to choke out, his name escapes me, um, Corey Sanhagen. Yeah, Corey Sanhagen got choked out by um, uh, got choked out by Aljamain Sterling. Um, Petra Yang could not knock out Aljamain Sterling. Obviously, he dominated him in the first fight before the before he kneed him in the head. But before that, he didn't manage to knock him out. Sugar Sean O'Malley managed to do something that no one has done, and that's knock out um Aljamain Sterling so he definitely deserves credit for that despite the fact that I'm, I'm not a hater of his but I don't like what he represents with his pink hair and the way he carries himself but I've got to give him credit where it's due he's managed to do something that no one else has managed to do which is managed to knock out Aljamain Sterling so yeah tell me what you think below what do you think he should do next do you think he should fight Cheeto Vera next do you think he should fight Marab what do you think he should do or maybe he should give Aljamain Sterling a second uh, rematch because Aljamain Sterling held the title for a long period of time tell me what you think below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel i've got a lot more content coming your way peace